feel like you can't feel your feelings, aren't sure how to process emotions or fully even just witness them in your body, this is what I want you to do. It's a super simple practice. You can literally start it today and it's gonna make a major difference in your ability to be in tune with the body and to fully express your life through sensation and emotion the way that we are designed to do. Let's get to it. I work with so many people that have been shutting their emotions down and avoiding and isolating their emotions for so long. When I start to talk about feeling your feelings and processing your feelings and integrating your feelings, they're like, what feelings? How do I actually connect to the body? I feel like I'm broken. I feel like it's all pain. I feel like it's all suffering. I feel like it's numb. I don't feel anything. And this is the practice that I want you to do today in order to start connecting to your body if that sounds like you. It's a super simple practice, and this is what you're gonna do. I want you to start waking up in the morning and from the moment your little feet hit the ground, asking yourself questions and giving yourself options, just like you would do with maybe a kid or somebody else. Do you want a banana for breakfast or granola? Do you wanna wash your face or do you wanna brush your teeth? Do you wanna wear a blue shirt? Do you wanna wear a black shirt? Do you wanna wear jeans? Do you wanna wear leggings? Do you wanna wear purple pumps or do you wanna wear your roller skates today? It sounds simple, but this is the process of tuning in to the inherent wisdom of the body. Feelings are inherent messages, they're wisdom, they are data for you about what you need to be aligned. So in order to start connecting, you need to start witnessing and paying attention, actually honoring the body as a source of information to make these decisions for you. This is where you're gonna connect to your inner voids, but this is also where you're just gonna start to build your tolerance for paying attention to the body. So instead of going straight into like, well, what's the biggest emotion for me? And I often will ask people what their most overwhelming emotion is right now, or the most challenging emotion they feel very often. And often it's anger or it's anxiety or it's depression or shame. But if you're not even at the point where you can recognize that and sit with it long enough to start feeling through it and getting in conversation with those emotions, you gotta start small. So just start asking the body, witnessing the body, pretending like it's your best friend and it has an opinion all throughout your day, okay? Do you want coffee? Do you want tea? Do you wanna do your homework or do you wanna take a nap first? What is the order that your body wants to exist in action today? What does it desire? What does it want to do? That's it, it's a super simple practice. Literally, you can start it today, you can start it tomorrow morning. Just ask your body what it wants to do. Give it options and then listen to what it says. Go with what your gut is telling you. You're just building that muscle like you would any other muscle. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Like this video if it was helpful to you and please subscribe to the Kaleidoscope channel for more embodied boundaries, creative coping and breathwork practices. Mwah! I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.